guys, it's Tech Tutorials here. In this video, I'll be demonstrating on how to remove the black bar video cutoff in Camstasia Studio, uh, the editor. What this basically is, for those who have this problem, is that basically Windows have this new update. It's, uh, it's a little update known for you know protecting your computer against all this blah, 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 all this crap. And that update, what it does, it patches many programs, let's say Steam users, like a lot of Steam users, and many Camtasia users and many other programs to actually stop making some of its key uh, features possible to work properly. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to clean the the remove that black bar cutoff for your Camtasia Studio video recording. So what I'm trying to show is basically let me open up Camtasia Studio and let me show you what I'm trying to say. So once you've opened up Camtasia Studio, if I load any video file, let's say I load the uh, um my intro video and the video that it, it would show if I put it in my timeline um, this is the exact video if I play it so as you can see the whole top part is cut off it's like a, it's like in the middle of the whole box and like the whole top part is blacked out which is totally retarded because you can't really see your whole video and it's a typical piss off and it does happen for like most every single video that you would import into Camtasia Studio so I'll show you how to fix this in a second all you have to do let's just open up um, control panel and go on programs in programs you want to go to view installed updates you want to look for the update um, KB280-2831 and as you're scrolling down, down, you want to look for that update. Obviously, it'll be in the description below as well, so just uh, look for it. I've also tried searching for it, so over here, search installed update, but I couldn't find anything. It doesn't work if you pasted it, so you just have to really scroll through this. It is really a pain in the ass. I've already done this. Uh, I just recently did it just to test it out, and I've already done this, and I'm just going to restart my computer right now. But after you do this, all you have to do is double click the KB280-2831 update. You just have to double click it and what it will do, it will un uninstall the update. See what that update is, it's, just an, it's an update from Windows to basically protect your computer. and It's an extra update to protect your computer from malicious software. However, with that little update to protect your computer, it affects a lot of other main programs that affects many key features of those programs. So, it's not created to basically you know harm your programs or anything or it's not even if you uninstall it nothing will happen it's just that you know these these small type of updates the KB updates they install by themselves automatically if you put automatic updates and this is what keeps you, keeps your computer it maintains your computer basically so Windows and Camtasia TechSmith they do not have anything together they don't have any fights together however they're actually trying to work together to fix the situation on the Windows update so the Windows update can go on and also the Camtasia can go on as well so I'm about to restart my PC right now just give it a second okay guys I'm back on my PC so I'm gonna go back to Camtasia Studio and open that up and let's check if this works so just close this okay so I'm just gonna import the same video file um, the same intro right here and as you see over here right now, as you can see, it shows the Windows Update logo. That's actually pretty sick. It actually does show you that you need this update to run, not to basically run these videos, but to, you know, you need that little optimization update. But it's not a big deal, so I just downloaded that and put it on my Camtasia, and let's put this onto my timeline. Okay. And now let's go to, let's play the video. And as you can see, this is the whole video. The top part is not cut off at all. And it is the exact same video. Once again, this does not actually affect your computer at all. What your Windows will do, it will install that update automatically again. But you wouldn't have to uninstall that update each time it keeps uninstalling. Because once you've already uninstalled it, you basically remove that little effect that was there, basically. Um, that's all you got to do. Uh, if this video helped you, if it worked and everything, please leave a comment below, like the video, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you very much.